hardest part is telling someone for the first time. We know how sensitive it can be. We know how traumatizing it is. A lot of times people can be a little apprehensive or just unsure of what this process is going to look like. Whatever the first step looks like for that victim is what we're gonna do. So that could mean going to the hospital first. It could mean going to a local precinct. It could be just telling a relative. It could be whatever is gonna allow for them to take that first step to get their power back. Here at SVU, we have a space specifically designated for survivors to come in. It's quiet, it's private, there's resources available, snacks, comfortable couches, just a really warm, inviting space to make a survivor feel comfortable, to be able to really retell something very traumatic that happened to them. It's just important for victims to know that there is a variety of different ways that the investigation can go, but it's only going to go as far as they want it to. We can take it all the way until the suspect is in handcuffs, or we can take it all the way until they feel like they just want to stop. We're here to listen. We're really helped to help guide and just move along this journey with each and every survivor. It is never too late to come forward. And so that's why we consider our unit, the Special Victims Unit, victim-centered, because it is truly only gonna go as far as they want it to go. Know that things can happen that are out of our control, but there are people out there, there are services out there that are willing to help make this the least traumatic and uh, most comfortable and supportive journey for each survivor. Thank you.